What's up, you guys? Sean Ross Sapp. FightfulMMA.com, Fightful.com, FightfulProWrestling.com. We got that crossover in effect this weekend as there are two, uh, I don't want to say big MMA shows, but two MMA shows, one of which featuring former WWE champion Alberto Del Rio and former Lucha Underground champion Sexy Star. Now I'm going to give you the betting odds for some of the big fights on the Combate Hidalgo show this weekend. I will have some sort of postmortem when Tito obliterates Alberto. Tito Ortiz is a minus 1,100 favorite. Alberto Del Rio is a plus 700 underdog. Jesus Christ. Sexy Star is a minus 280 favorite over her opponent, Marisol Ruelas. You also have Gaston Reyno on the card, minus 435. Rachel Hilo, a plus 325. Uh, outside of that, you guys probably aren't going to know many other people on the show. Joby Sanchez, a minus 165. Donnie Barres, a plus 135. But there is a UFC show this weekend. Overeem versus Rosenstruck. Let's take a look at the betting odds for that. Mahmoud Muradov is a massive minus 420 favorite over Trevor Smith, the plus 335 underdog. Mallory Martin, a plus 235 underdog against Virna. Janet Roba, a minus 275 favorite. A lot of wide lines on this show. Handsome Matt Wyman, back in action, a plus 280 underdog, as he probably should be. Joe Selecki, a minus 340 favorite. Yeah, Bryce Mitchell, a plus 105 underdog against Matt Sales, who's a minus 125 favorite. Billy Quarantilo, a minus 335 favorite against the underdog plus 275, Jacob Kilburn. A couple of familiar names here. Tiago Alves, former UFC title challenger. Uh, a heavy underdog at plus 225 against Dirty Bird Tim Means, who is at a minus 265. Ricky Simone is a plus 120, while Rob Font is a minus 140. You have Cody Stamen. A plus 170 against Song Yadong, minus 200. Uh, that's going to be a very good fight. I like that and the Simone Font fight. I, I like Alves and Means as well. This this card's a, a little bit deeper than anybody's given it credit for. When I say nobody's talking about this show, I mean that nobody is talking about this show. Uh, and that that's a shame because there are some good fights on it. Aspen Ladd. Minus 150 favorite against Yana Kuniskaya, who is a plus 130 underdog. Heavyweight bout, Ben Rothwell, a minus 140 against Stefan Struve, a plus 120. Struve had kind of played the hokey pokey with retirement, but he is back in the cage. Marina Rodriguez, a minus 125 facing a tall task in the plus 105 Cynthia Calvillo. If Marina Rodriguez can get this win, I, you know, you got to believe that she is as legit as it gets, at least when it pertains to contenders in that division. The main event, and it is a hell of a main event, Jair Rosenstruck, Alistair Overeem, both minus 110. It's even. Now, I know a lot of you are going, uh, Sean, who the hell is Jair Rosenstruck? I'm a pro wrestling fan. I just watched for the Alberto Del Rio betting line. Well, Jair Rosenstruck is 3-0 and in the UFC. And he is 9-0 as a pro MMA fighter. He's got one fight that has went to decision, and that was in Ryzen against Andre Kovalev. But uh, in the UFC, he's knocked out former heavyweight champion Andre Arlovsky in 30 seconds. He's knocked out Alan Crowder in 9 seconds. And he knocked out Junior Albini in under 6 minutes. Uh, he does this a lot. Like He, he had a 10-second KO. Uh, just under a year ago, and if he ends up winning this fight, it'd be uh, he'd be five and zero over the last year, and four and zero in the UFC, and he would become an immediate contender. We will have some sort of post show coverage. Of course, we got coverage during the show as well. FightfulMMA.com. That's the place to be, my friends. Join our live coverage. Join our live chat. Until next time, we're out.